Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to continue talking about using the central limit theorem and population means. And we're going to work with this problem here, which is also dealing with IQ, uh, something that all of us can relate to. So again, the IQ of the population is, the mean is 100, the standard deviation of the population IQ is 15. Uh, here we again sample 50 people, and the question is, what is the probability that the average IQ of those 50 people that we sampled is greater than 105? So it's exactly the same problem that we did in the last uh, lesson there, except now instead of finding the probability that a sample of 50 is less than 95, now we want to see what is the probability that in the average IQ of those 50 people is greater than 105. So it's very, very similar. In fact, that's why I chose it here. Uh, what we know, though, is that the mean of the sampling distribution, if we choose samples of 50 people, is going to be equal to the population mean, which is 100, so we can write that down. We also know that the standard deviation of the sampling distribution is going to basically end up being the same thing. Remember, it is the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size, which is 15 over the square root, in this case, of 50. And just as we got last time, uh, 2.1. To one, which is exactly what we got last time, because none of those numbers have changed. But let's just take one quick second to draw a picture of what we're looking at now, and so you have a mental image of how it's different from the last problem. This will be the sampling distribution of sample means. We know that it's going to look normal because the sample size, n, is 50, which is greater than 30. So when we take 50 people, 50 people, 50 people, 50 people, and calculate their average IQ, collect all that data, we expect to get something uh, normal shaped, and we expect that the sample mean uh, of the sample distribution to be 100, and we expect the standard deviation of this distribution uh, to be 2.121. Now the question here, though, is asking us, what is the probability that a sample of these 50 people will have an average IQ of greater than 105? So this is 100, so let's just go up a little bit. We'll call this 105, and that's kind of hard to read there. And we're asking, what is the probability that a sample of 50 people will be greater than 105? So another way of phrasing that is saying, look, we, we create a sampling distribution of sample means where 50 people in each sample, the sample size of 50. What is the probability that a, that a sample means greater than 105? That's basically what we're asking. So this is a distribution of sample means. We choose 105. We want to find the area under the curve to the right. All right. So we have to use a z-score. And the formula that we've been using here is x bar minus the mean of this distribution divided by the standard deviation of this distribution. So what goes here is the sample mean that we care about, which is 105, minus the actual 